Hello everyone, it's Isma Sewan Kambo as usual from FX Kampala. Well, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can basically do forex trading as a full-time job. The question is, can I do Forex as a full-time job? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be helping you out. I'm going to be showing you or telling you, teaching you, learning you some of the things that you should basically know you should have in place before considering Forex as a full-time job. Because this is a common question. You know, I believe everyone has ever asked this question to himself. But then the question is, are there people that are doing forex as a full-time job are there people that are doing forex as a job the question to that answer is that there are a couple of people that are doing forex as a real uh, time job they are doing forex full-time now below all some of the things that we're going to look at in this video are some of the things that should be in place you should consider you should do if you want to consider forex as a full-time job well, to do Forex as a full-time job, you need to know how to trade. First, we need to first learn how do I learn how to trade because it's not just like any other thing. It's just like if you're going in to start a business, you always need to do research. You always need to learn about this business. You always need to know where the risk is. You always need to know which are some of the considerations, you know, rather, what are some of the things I should, you know, have in place to do such a business? Who are uh, uh, the competitor? You know, if probably it's a bad day, what am I supposed to do? If it's a good day, what am I supposed to do? The same happens to Forex. If you're to do Forex as a real-time job, you have to learn Forex. You need to know the basics. You need to test. You need to do demo trading or paper trading. You need to do a couple of things. You need to identify a strategy that you're going to, you know, need when you are trading. You need to have a trading plan. You need to have, in other words, you need to learn forex and not just learning you need to give it a couple of time to the point are you actually profitable uh in the in the way that when you definitely start trading at least you know that you know this is your business this is something that you need to do intellectualize not just you know having it in mind you know uh, um, do i do you have the relevant capital not with your ten dollars not with your hundred dollars and you want to do such a business you know so there are a couple of things that have to be considered and for this case we're looking at you knowing how to trade with experience not just you know from wherever, from wherever you are and you consider this as a business with the basics that you have so we the number one thing any person uh, has to do all they have to do is basically learning and mastering with experience intellectualize uh what trading is all about you know with confidence and profitable so after doing that and let's say you're good at that you've learned trading and all that the next thing is to know your goals because this is something that you you know you you always have to plan it's a profession so we, there are things that we have to consider you know as you know what are we aiming at which plan which plans do you have you know are you considering this to uh, to co trade uh, forex for only a year you know uh how much do you consider making or you looking are you looking up to making on a daily basis or if it's rather uh, on the monthly basis or a yearly basis which time frame are you looking at profiting from the foreign national markets yes uh which capital are you looking at uh what do you want out of the forex market what are you looking up to you know uh you know are you looking at basically doing it as in an investment such that by the end of such and such a period you're looking forward you know have you know have generated such and such an amount and a lot more are you looking at this uh, at least to generate a profit of two percent five percent ten percent depending so you need to have a plan which i've actually considered to you having a goal or having goals so you need to have goals before you actually do forex as a real-time job then after having or setting your goals just in any business just as entrepreneurs, just an elite person, just as professionals, just as in any profession, you have to always have goals, you know? Uh, now, after 
knowing how to trade, you have set your goals. The next thing is capital. You know, now capital plays a very big part here. You know, the challenge as to why in Africa, there are not a couple of so many people that are trading and doing this as a full-time job. The number one reason could be capital. We lack capital. So um, I do not expect you to come all the way from where you're coming and consider trading uh, Forex as a full-time job with very limited capital, with very small capital. So at least if you have $100,000 and above, then I can consider you trading, you know, at least at least you're doing this as a full-time job. Now, if that's not the case, then you need to look up and see and say, now, Isma, yes, if I'm trading or if, let's say, I'm doing other businesses, this is my day, this is my monthly expenditure. Now, after having your monthly expenditure, then uh, at least your monthly expenditure should be 5%, should at least be 5% and below. It can be 2 it can be 3%. Then... Um, so you consider what you're earning then and it's considered to be as 5% or 3% of what your capital should be or 2% because now, look, some of the guys that we're looking up doing this as a full-time job, they literally have a couple of capital, a lot of capital, uh, which is uh, which which they only have to at least make 2% a month. So uh, looking at 2% and they are literally, you know, surviving in the, you know, with their expenses by just making two percent i believe any person can make two percent any person can make two percent so we consider this of course to be the number one uh, thing that we should consider most importantly as capital when we are trading forex so uh, uh have your expenditure let's say if your expenditure is uh let's say one million so if your expenditure is one million then one million you can you can do now one million times uh, 20 okay 1 million times 20 so if you want to make 1 million on a monthly basis then we consider at least you to have 20 million so if you have 20 millions and you're only looking for 1 million on a monthly basis then this is what it means that now you can do this with this capital with actually with uh knowing how to trade with the set goes perfectly and also with your 20 million uganda shillings then we can now you know now do this as a business because with your 20 million you're only looking for a million okay or 20 million and more so looking out for 1 million on a, on a monthly basis to cover for your expense so these are just examples i'm trying uh to you know elaborate such that it brings out our narrative on the clear perspective for us to understand you know intensively and stress and I, uh, for me, basically, to stress this enough to you to basically understand the analogy, uh, the concept I'm basically explaining or delivering at such an event or at such a moment. So after having knowing your capital, no more enough capital for our trading, I've given you the reason as uh, the way of how you can overcome this. You can probably know which capital you need. Then the next thing is. At, you have to consider this now as a business, okay? So consider this as a business. Uh, always go for calculated risk. Do not overtrade. You know, this is a business just like any other business. Have confidence in it that you can. It can really work out for you. Then uh, get, have discipline. You know, uh, have discipline just like in any business. We should always have a discipline, accountability. You know, uh, just like any business. You know, you have to be keen about anything that you do on this account that you want to do for a living. Then lastly, I would consider having an emergency fund because like, uh, just like in any business, you always have a backup, backup funds that you probably, you know, when the business, if anything suddenly just happens, then you have something, you know, to come in as an emergency, you know, you know, so you always have to have an emergency of funds this time round, funds that you always need to bring, you know, to top up, let's say, I was supposed to make, let's say, 1 million, but instead lost it on a monthly basis, then you can probably have a backup. A backup can basically be those profits that you've already made on the previous trades and kept, you know, and it's actually coming in as a backup for you to basically trade. Now, these are things, are very simple things that you need to do just to have a summary of what we have just basically talked about, had or learned in this video. One is to know how to trade. Two is to set your goals. Three is to have enough capital. 
trade the business of forex as a business treat it in the business perspective and lastly have an emergence funds so these are things that you should need you need to do if you're doing this as a business in the forex market so uh i still say one combo isma i've provided uh, my fine my whatsapp number at the beginning of this video in case of anything you want to learn uh you know you're having confusion here and there uh there is you know there are a couple of things if you want to basically learn know how to trade having issues there and there uh anything that associated with forex don't hesitate to contact me with this very number i'll be in position to assist uh thank you so much uh, my name is Sewan Kambo Isma. I do sign out. I wish you a very happy and prosperous new year. Bye-bye.